And so really we've just set up our audio levels and we would have a separate mixer and, and that would be it. Once it was set up, we, all the functions would really be done from the edit controller. Sadly, this is not quite doing what I want it to do, but basically, so edit controller, and what I loved about it was that you had a separate knob, control shuttle and jog for the record machine, and a separate shuttle and jog for the player machine. And I think on this one, not that we ever ha had a separate, when we were using Umatic, I would never had the good fortune to have two players, but you also can have two players, and you can select between player one and player two but when I used it, we only just had the one player. It wasn't until we moved on later on into beta SP that sometimes we could have two players. Um, so very basically, you would play and shuttle through the tape until you found the relevant point. Sadly, at the moment, we've got a slight problem with this tape and it's not really wanting to show us. Um, it's, actually, it's actually going into a shuttle mode for some reason. Give me a second whenever I hit play. It's running very fast, it's not. Basically, anyway, I would find an endpoint, pause it, and I would then hold down the entry button and then press, press the relevant player in. Then I would then play further forward till I found what I thought was a suitable out point, press pause, press the entry button and press player out. So I would now have a player in marked in and a player out marked in. And I would then go over to my recorder, find the point where I'd like to add this new shot onto the shot that I've already got recorded. Say I wanted to come down there at the end of that pan up, pause it there, and I'd then hold down the entry bar and then press recorder in. Sadly, it's not working on this system at the moment. Then once I'd done that, I could press the preview button and it would then wind back however many seconds I set on the uh, pre-roll time, wind forward and I'd watch the record monitor and at the appropriate point it would then cut over, not actually making the edit because it's a, a preview to wherever I'd selected on the, on the player button. So if, if, I was, well, if I was happy with that, then I would just, it would be flashing at me, I could then go into auto edit and it would then actually do the edit um, and record my selection onto the record, ta record tape. 